Christ Returns Speaks His Truth Christ Articles, Article 1, Cracks in Your Planet I have come this time not to speak beautiful passages of spiritual encouragement to arouse your spiritual yearnings, but to reach into your daily lives with your own colloquial language to shed light on what people are daily doing to themselves, their bodies, lives, relationships, and to the planet generally. It is their thought, leading to words, leading to action with which I am particularly concerned at this time. People of all races and cultures heed me. The majority of thinking people realize that all your scientific technology and widespread industrialization are slowly killing your planet. And you recognize this. But when will you wake up to the even more vitally important and compelling realization that your ego thoughts, words, actions are equally destructive of your planet because these are consciousness energy forms? And consciousness energy forms are precisely what your world is created from. Consciousness energy forms. Your entire world is nothing more than a giant consciousness energy form composed of trillions of individual consciousness forms sprung from and based upon the void of universal consciousness, which you could term God, and have been evolved from apparent nothingness to its present state through the process of your own desires and longing. Therefore, you must try to understand that when, daily, you pour your ego consciousness through the medium of your thoughts, words, actions, into your world, you are sending out consciousness forms which are entirely contrary to the laws of universal consciousness. You are helping billions of other like-minded people to create a destructive force in direct conflict with your source of being, universal consciousness which underpins and sustains all existence. Inevitably, cracks in the structure of your planet take place and people experience tornadoes, earthquakes, floods and blizzards which are all physical manifestation of the breakdown of universal law, which is universal love governing your world. Does this indicate that God love has been withdrawn from the world? No, there is no such thing as punishment from God, because no such individualized, human-thinking God exists. This is a myth which should be erased from people's minds. But your planet and you yourselves have been individualized out of universal consciousness, which itself is a law which I constantly reiterated when on earth. The law of faith in good and evil. The law of conviction. Whatever you truly believe in, good, bad, and indifferent, will eventually be manifested in your lives. Therefore, be warned and use the knowledge on this website to free yourself of the world's most destructive consciousness, ego consciousness. Going to church will not help you. Sunday worship will not release you. Your only hope of shaking yourself free from ego and the world's destructive consciousness is to follow the Christ way. The Christ way is the way which I personally followed and lived after full enlightenment in the desert. Enlightenment which enabled me to return to Nazareth and embark on a new life of healing, teaching, and control of the elements. Because my teaching was in direct opposition to Judaic teaching of retribution and vengeful Jehovah, I was eventually crucified. Any other explanation of my crucifixion is spurious and wholly untrue. Prior to my six weeks in the desert in Palestine, I was an idle non-achiever. After enlightenment, I was a sole keeper of the secrets of creation and creativity. My enlightenment is fully explained in Letter 1, and my full transcendent perception of the truth of existence itself is outlined in the, my letters. These are offered free to all who have the will and courage to walk my Christ way, leading ultimately to enlightenment, freedom from ego, and entry into the kingdom of heaven. Enlightenment can come in various ways. It can come as a mind-blowing experience which immediately transforms your perception of your source of being and your previous intellectual understanding of your world. True enlightenment is an inflow of divine consciousness into your human consciousness, which will never lose and which permanently transforms your attitude to your Creator and to your life generally. Or, through persistent study of my letters, little moments of extraordinary insight, little times of illuminating shafts of light will enter your mind, which will shift the focus of your inner sight or clear the lens through which you see the world and judge the validity of all its opinions and beliefs. 
Gradually, you shed the illusions which previously blinded you and you find yourself gaining mastery of your mind and action, leading to wholeness in every aspect of your individual being. Walking the Christ way, as set out in my letters, is a lifetime work leading directly to freedom from anxiety and want. As you read, you will find them both my presence and my love. End of Article 1